Welcome to our early morning prayer call. We greet you with divine love and with Jesus' joy in the only name that matters, the name of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. What a blessing it is to uh, be together again on this Wednesday morning, uh, February the 21st, in the year of our Lord, 2018. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, we're indeed thankful. Amen. To be alive. Amen. The fact that God woke us up this morning and uh, touched us with a finger of love. And now here we are. Our eyes are open. Amen. Feet on the floor, ready to face a brand new day. And so we're grateful unto God for each and every one of you that are joining us on uh, the prayer line. Good morning and God bless you and heaven smile upon each and every one of you. And then this is Pastor Scott, and we thank you for joining us. And I want to jump right in, jump right in, because we want to spend as much time in prayer as we uh, can within these 15 minutes. Our devotional uh, scripture, uh, devotional scripture is coming from Psalm 118. For those of you that are just joining us, welcome. Psalm 118 is our devotional uh, scripture this morning for Wednesday, February the 21st, 2018. Oh, give thanks. To the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say his mercy endures mm-hmm. forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say his mercy endures forever. I called on mm-hmm. the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me. The Lord is uh, for me among those who help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire on those who hate me. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy that they surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They surround me like bees. They were quenched like a fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. You push me violently that I might fall. But the Lord, help me. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The Lord Right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go through them, and I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous shall enter. I will praise you. For you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, and he has given us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God. I will praise you. You are my God. I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. We have read Psalm 118 in its entirety. The Lord's word is already blessed. We bless the name of Jesus. Thank God for his word. Let it sink deep into our hearts, uh, into our spirits early this morning. Amen. And we thank God for it. Uh, Psalm 118, so much uh, rich words, so many powerful verses uh, there for us to meditate on throughout uh, this morning and also throughout the day. For those that are just joining us, welcome us. We welcome you. We thank you for joining us early this morning. Amen. As we prepare to go to the throne of grace and a word of prayer, as we intercede on behalf of others, and we know what intercession means, standing in the gap, standing in the edge, uh, you know, pray for those uh, that uh, are on our hearts and on our minds and those who may not be able to pray for themselves. We believe that what we make happen for others in the realm of the spirit, God can turn around and do that thing for us. So, amen. So we're going to go into prayer 
We want you to forget about yourself for a moment. Amen. Concentrate on the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen. And let's begin uh, to seek his face early in the morning. Father, we worship you this morning. We, we bless your name. We, we, we gather this morning uh, from the length and breadth of this nation. Oh, God, uh, beyond uh, geographical limitations and boundaries as we come together in prayer early in the morning. Amen. We thank you that from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, your name, Lord Jesus, is worthy to be praised. And there is no name under the heavens whereby men can be saved other than the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we thank you that it's in that name that power has been released. It's in that name that authority has been given. It's in that name that mountains are moved. It's in that name that demons tremble. We thank you that we are saved, healed, delivered, set free by the power uh, within that name. And we give you glory this morning. We give you honor this morning. We magnify you, oh God, early this morning, for there is none like you. Come on, saints, we worship him this morning. We lift him up, for this is the hour where true worshipers shall worship. Oh God, in spirit and in truth, you are our Father. There's none like you. Oh God, we thank you because we know who you are. And Father, even in our knowing who you are, you are continuously uh, revealing yourself unto us each and every day. And even though we, we know uh, who you are, we are still finding out more and more each and every day. Because every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Thank you for what you do reveal to us, for we look through a glass darkly, oh God, and we know, oh God, that there's only but so much that we can see, but we pray this morning, show us your glory. We want to see your glory. We thank you, Father God, that even after this, whatever folk are going through, whatever people are dealing with, whatever issues are presenting themselves, whatever challenges or obstacles are standing before us, Oh, God, we decree and declare into the atmosphere in this prayer, oh, God, that there will be glory. And we thank you that you will be glorified, oh, God, in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. We thank you early in the morning, and we give you praise this day as we gather in prayer on behalf of those that said, pray for me, on behalf of those that are standing in need of a, of a touch this morning. We know that you, oh, God, are a deliverer. You are uh, a rescuer. You are a healer. You, oh God, are a way maker. God, and we thank you because we know that we know that we know that your mercy endures forever. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, oh God, because we know that we are really not deserving of it. But Father, we stand complete in your sufficiency. And Father, our righteousness, even though it is filthy rags, we thank you early this morning that we stand complete in your righteousness. It's in you, Lord Jesus, that we live and that we move and that we have our very being. Oh, God, we gather early this morning declaring that our trust is not in the economy, our trust is not in the government, our trust is not in princes or in kings or in presidents or in congressmen, but our trust is in thee. Oh, God, we gather early this morning because we know that we know that we know that prayer makes the difference. And, Father, we are putting in the atmosphere that change is happening now. We speak now to our land, to our nation, to, oh, God, our government, the powers that be. And we know, God, that your word says the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And you can turn it whichever way you so desire. So, Father, we come binding and loosening. We come believing in prayer. We come, oh, God, exercising the authority that you have invested in us as the children of the Most High God. We are members of the royal priesthood. We are members of the royal family. And we thank you, O oh God, that there's no good thing that you withhold from them. O oh God, that call on you, that love you, that adore you, that worship your name. We thank you, Father God. Hey, and we give you glory this morning because we know whoever calls on you shall be saved. Oh, God, we thank you and we praise your name because we know that if we call on you, you will answer. So at this hour of the morning, we call on you this morning, praying for those who are sick and afflicted in their bodies, praying for those who are brokenhearted, those who are bereaved on this week, those, oh, God, who are dealing, oh, God, with uh, oppression and depression 
and we know that you're able to renew our minds and restore our joy. Even now, Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning, oh God, for turning our tests into testimonies. Thank you this morning. Oh God, we give you praise because we know that as we pray this prayer, oh God, we thank you that mountains are being moved. Oh God, lives are being changed. Situations are being overturned in the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit all over the land, all over the world, all over this country. We thank you, Father God, for pouring out your spirit, all your Shekinah glory. Thank you, Father, because we know that we know that we know that in the last days you said you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh, sons and daughters. Oh, God shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. Old men shall dream, dream. Thank you for moving across generational lines. Thank you, oh, God, that every generational curse is hereby broken, destroyed through the power of the blood of Jesus the Christ. Thank you early this morning for the power of the blood. And that's what we apply to our day. This day, give us this day our daily bread. Thank you that all of our needs are met. Thank you, oh God, that you supply, oh God, even the desires of our heart. Uh, according to Psalm 37, as we delight ourselves also in the Lord, we thank you early this morning for covering our kids, our children, our generations that are to come. The seed, oh God, thank you that they're protected as they go into the schools, as they go, oh God, throughout their day, as they get on the school buses and carry out, oh God, their educational pursuits and academic uh, their exports. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah for your covering, oh God, for the faculty, the staff, the administrators, and those that work in the educational system. We're praying yet for those families in Lakeland, Florida, those, oh God, who have lost loved ones, oh God, in yet another horrific uh, shooting in the schools. Father, we know, God, that you're able to touch the hearts of congressmen uh, and senators, oh God, to do, oh God, what needs to be done, hallelujah, to make change for the better as it relates to violence in our nation. Father, we thank you this morning because we know that we know that we know that as we pray this prayer, Oh, God, you're blessing those who are part of the seasoned saints, the elderly, those, oh, God, who are in their golden ages. Father, strengthen them where they're weak. Build them up where they're torn down in the name of your son, Jesus. And, God, we give you praise for for those, oh, God, who are shut out this morning. But let them know, oh, God, they may be uh, shut in, but they're not shut out from your love and from your power, oh God, and from your comfort in the name of Jesus. Oh God, somebody's behind prison walls. Oh God, somebody is in a nursing home. Someone, oh God, is dealing with this or that. But Father, we thank you and we praise you for equipping the body of Christ. Oh God, and every one of us that's on this call, that we'll know and understand our gifts, know and understand our purpose. May we know and understand our calling. May we know and understand our assignment and do what you call us to do in these last and evil days. Thank you for a fresh anointing from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. For we know that it's the anointing that makes the difference. Or it's the anointing that destroys the yoke of bondage. We thank you, Father, that he who is set free, oh God, shall be free indeed. Oh, we thank you for freedom. We thank you for liberty. We thank you that there's no more change and bondage holding us, oh God. We thank you that we're delivered in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we go forth in this day, this day that we've never seen before, this day that we've never experienced, this day that we know not what will come ahead of us. But Father, we know who holds the future and we know who holds our hand. Our trust is in me. We trust in the Lord with all of our heart, leaning not to our own understanding in all of our ways, we choose to acknowledge you. And, oh, God, we thank you that your word declares you will, oh, God, direct our path, order our footsteps in your word. Show us, oh, God, your way. Give us wisdom for the day. Thank you for every challenge and obstacle that lies ahead. We have what it takes, oh, God, to deal with whatever the devil throws our way because no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper in the name of your son, Jesus. We thank you this morning that we shall live and not die 
and declare the works of the Lord. Oh, we were gonna we're gonna go forth, God, and do your will. For oh God, a charge to keep I have and a God to glorify. We honor you this day in the name of Jesus. We pray. We thank you in advance because this is the year of abundance. We thank you, oh God, for helping us to let down our nets. Oh, God, to launch out into the deep, to do what you call us to do. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the favor in the name of your son, Jesus. Now we serve notice on that enemy, the adversary, that the blood of Jesus is against him. The battle has already been fought. The victory has been won. We're choosing to walk in complete and total victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Satan, you're a liar. The blood of Jesus is against you. You're under our feet early this morning. And we thank you, Father God, because we know that we know we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Oh, God, and we thank you this day. And we give you praise this day. Open to us the gates of righteousness, and we might walk right through them. We thank you that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we have no need to be scared, no need to be fearful, no need to be afraid, because you promised you would be with us. And we thank you that if you made the promise, it shall come to pass. It's in the name of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God, that we pray this prayer, and we seal it with praise. We seal it with worship. We seal it with your glory. We thank you, O oh God, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, above all that we can ask to think, according to the power that worketh in us. Oh God, let there be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Oh God, now from henceforth and forevermore, we give you praise this morning. We give you glory this morning. We magnify your name this morning. Oh, somebody bless him with me. Somebody lift him up with me. Somebody help me magnify the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. Oh, God, we thank you. As we travail in the spirit, as we call on your name, there's none like you. And we thank you this morning for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We download joy from heaven. We download the peace of God that passes all understanding. We download, oh God, every promise, oh God, that's been spoken over our lives and help the help that we need to fulfill, oh God, the provisions, oh God, in the promise. Thank you in the name of Jesus that it is so and it's already done. We decree it and declare it in the atmosphere. And we know, oh God, that as we put it out there, the power of death and life is in the tongue. Oh, and, the, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So we thank you this morning because we know that we know that we know that what we're praying about and who we're praying for and what we're praying concerning is already done in the realm of the spirit. Oh, God, we thank you for good news. We thank you for your gospel. We thank you for advancing your kingdom. We thank you that it's already so in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. Every heart and soul says thank God.